What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite, hopping onto that rank ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome video for you guys today. Today, we're just going to be playing on the rank ladder, trying to push higher ranks, and showcasing some online live battles. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. But yeah, we've been grinding this game on stream, so if you guys also want to catch more content from me, make sure you head down the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch, we're streaming 5 plus days every single week. Definitely go check us out, hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live. But right now, I'm just collecting rewards just before we go into those rank battles. We actually have, have our energy rewards right here, so we can exchange them and potentially get some coins, and this is what I really want. I want the item enhancers. They, they really help me. I want item enhancers or coins. I think those are the best things. I don't really care about the cosmetics too much, like the outfits like this. I care less. I just want to level up my items, get my coins, and collect all my different Pokemon. But dang, dude, we're getting so much getting so much cosmetics. I don't want them. We got some fashion tickets, but bro, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, we got one more exchange, which I'm going to do. Give me some item enhancers. Let's see what we got. Ah, some fashion tickets. Get out of my face. We don't want them. We don't want them. We do not want them, but that's all the items we can actually have. I can actually head down to my uh, my events as well, do my daily missions and stuff, log into the game, see if we have any other things going on here before we do hop into our next battle or next thing that we wanted to do. Well, let's head over to Unite. The Pokemon that I will be using today is anybody I feel like. I feel like just hopping on the rank ladder, trying to get some wins for you guys and showcasing it. But we're sitting in expert class three. Let's get after it. Let's try to roll here. I personally want to use my Grand Ninja because I've been getting better with my Grand Ninja. But if somebody takes a jungler, I don't mind also going top laner with like Cinderace or Pikachu or something along those lines. But let's see who they rock out with and let's see what our teammates use. Let's see if I can go over to Grand Ninja and actually lock him in. That'd be pretty dope. Why can use Grand Ninja in that top lane? But right now, dude, I would love to be in a nice little jungle action. Let's see if they'll give me jungle. Let's see if they'll give me jungle. Let's go set path. And let's go central area. Let's see if they'll, they'll let me rip up the central area. Because if they do, then I'm down for it. I'm so down for it. He wants to go to the central area. That's fine. I'm going to actually go back to Cinderace. We're going to rock out and I'll go top area then. I'll go top lane with Cinder. That's my plan. Let's rock out with that. I'll go top. We'll give the Gengar a central area because Gengar is probably the best Pokemon in this game. And I'm looking for wins when I'm on the rank ladder. And plus, we're going in with this slow, bro. Me and the slow, bro, better watch out. You better watch out. So our team's actually looking pretty good. I would like him to switch Absol out. There you go. They're switching now. Absol is more of a jungler and we have Gengar rocking. I like Machamp in that bot lane and Eldegoss. Woo! I dig that. Machamp and Eldegoss in that bot lane with me and Slowbro in the top and Gengar in the jungle. Team is looking fire, looking like we can catch ourselves a win here in our first rank battle for today's video. But we're rocking the normal uh, moveset and uh, items for Cinderace. We have the battle held item, which is going to be the potion. And then our held items is going to be the muscle band, the float stone, and the scope line. So increase our crit rate and crit damage, increase our movement speed, attack, and then our attack speed and attack again, I believe. Or attack cooldowns. So it's all around just perfect uh, held items for Cinderace. But yo, I've been having a blast this game. Like I said, if you guys want to catch me streaming, streaming five, five plus days every single week. Your boy's actually going on vacation this week. So when I get back, then streams will start back up and daily videos will start. So you guys will probably notice like, yo, Jeans is missing like a day or two in daily upload. It's because I'm on vacation. Let me be. Let me get a little vacation in. But we're getting started with this battle. I got my boy Score Bunny right here. Got my Ember ready to rock out. And we're going to get after this Pokemon right here. Hopefully that uh, Ghastly goes to that jungle area. Why right, is he going in there? Look at Slowbro, just head him right to the top and let me get these kills. I'm with that. Slowbro doing dirty. Or what is Slowbro doing? Let me get the kills and just farming me? I wouldn't mind that one bit. I wouldn't mind that one bit. Thank you. Thank you, Slowbro. Uh, you're my best friend. <laughs> Got my low sweep. I can actually take out you and uh, get this level. He didn't take out an enemy yet, has he? Do I go up there and take that kill? <laughs> that would have been nice, but we should have a core fish down here who he is going after. I'm just actually just throw some fireballs at him and we'll off from there. I can hide in these bushes and just wait time out. Throw a burn on him. Get out of here. He's gonna freeze me. I'm just gonna dip back a little bit. Have my cooldown go, go up there and get some HP while we're sitting here. There's a core fish down there, but I really do not want to mess with the core fish. Actually, I'm gonna steal it, Cassie. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm gonna steal it. I want the levels. I want the levels, my man. And you're not down there, so let's do that. And wait for Pokemon to spawn. Let's actually dip up here, burn them up, and start throwing item or basic attacks at them. Now we can tee off on the Snorax a little bit. I got my burn in just a second. I am going to end up popping my potion here. I'm just going to keep teeing off on everybody. Let's kick in here. And he's going to pick up the KO. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? We need you, Haunter. We need you, Haunter. Cut dip. 
I'm gonna be dead here. I'm dead, of course. Of course. Of course. So rough start for us right now. Hopefully we can get back into it. But dude, we kinda had that in the bag. If Slipper would have just dipped back a little bit, we would have been fine. And now that guy, that Lola Ninetales, got a triple piece. An absolute triple piece. We were thriving. I'm gonna go up here and try to get these combis and all that good stuff here. Yo, you gotta dip back slow, bro. You gotta dip back. And now you're dead again, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now these guys have mean levels on us. I don't feel like dealing with it. Let's see if I can uh, steal this A-Palm here. And I should have gotten that, right? Did I get that? Can I dip back? Let me get, let me get a nice little citrus spray here. Let me throw a burn on you. Now I can actually low sweep into you guys. And we should actually get one of these guys here. Got my potion. Nope. Of course we did not end up getting one of them. It's all good. I'm gonna level up to level 5 and try to get back in this game after that mistake by the slow bro. Slow bro costing us, man. Cause that's what I get hung up on. I get hung up on uh, helping out ally Pokemon. Hold up, let's see if I can get this guy. Let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, burn on him. And we got a burn chipping away on him. It's totally fine. Okay, that's cool. But that's what I get caught up on. Yo, what are you doing? You're level three, slow bro. Dip back. He's level three. He ain't doing nothing. You're doing nothing. Let me get this core fish out of the way. Throw a burn on him and slide kick into him. All right, now we get that and we get some levels. We're almost level six, which could be really nice. I'm gonna go right over here, and I'm gonna dip over here, and just wait for his slow, bro. He's awful throw. He ain't doing nothing. He's not doing nothing. He's not doing nothing. This is a rough battle for us. Real rough battle for us. He's not doing anything. Like, what do you want me to do at this point? If you're sitting there at that top lane, and you are level three. You're level three, three minutes into the game. Like, come on, man. I can't do anything with that. Let me dip up here. Let's find get rid of this thing. I get him. I think we have him. Got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Did I pick up the KO there? I think I did. Yeah, I got the KO there. Now I am actually going to slide in here. Try to get the KO on this thing. Can I get that one? Yep. There we go. There's double KO for everybody. We're chilling. We have Pyro Ball now. And you're welcome. You're welcome, team. Now we're going to pick up all these KOs and just try to get some levels from here. I'm going to actually send this potion, get some HP. And this is what we need. We need levels and we need to get grinding here. Rotom would be a nice KO as well here. Why am I hitting that A-Palm? That's totally fine. I'll take out the A-Palm. There we go. Finally, our boy leveled up to four. Now he's a slow, bro. It took him long enough. We got, we got uh, Snorlax back, and Snorlax is going to die instantly here. Well, not Snorlax. Snow, snow bro is. Slow bro will, and they have an Absol here as well, so I got to actually look out here. Let me dip back here. Can I dip back? And, of course, I died from this Absol. In the low flux zone, he's able to still dominate and just tee off on us in there. We're getting just murked on here. What are, what are our levels compared to theirs? It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. And that's why I hate sometimes is actually hopping onto the rank ladder and, and playing with people like the slow bro who don't know how to play this game. It's so like, why are you on the rank ladder? It's just rough. It's just rough all around. It's just rough all around. Let's keep moving up here. That's a roar right here, and I'm at the back on you. And of course, miss my power ball because this thing is just OP. If I can just keep teeing off on this thing, I might be able to have this thing. Get him. Yep. See you later, punk. Get him out of my face. Do not come under tower up against me. We have a potion ready to rock. I'm just going to chill under tower. I keep teeing off on these Snorlaxes. Get out of here, Snorlax. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. Let's go Pyro Ball. Just start sending out on them. I'm going to dip up here. I just keep teeing off on these guys. And, of course, he has his ult. And I'm going to just dip. Probably so. And actually send my ult now. Bang. Get some damage off on these guys. Just should get that one KO. And I need help over here, boys. Need help. You guys should have this Nine Tails easily. No problem. You guys should have that Nine Tails. Get that Nine Tails out of here. There we go. Nine Tails is out of the way. I'll take the death for the... Uh, for a KO and all that good stuff. We'll rock out here. Now we have a little bit of level. So our one way of winning this game is going to be Zapdos. You guys already know it does come down to Zapdos like every single game. But we're just going to sit here and farm up all these enemies on the outside. And just get some levels up. We did destroy Golzo, which is beautiful. But our whole team is at that top lane, which I do not like. Uh, let me roll over to this Corefish. Get rid of him. And Drenol could be huge for a team. Because that gives everybody XP. And I would love if everybody got XP. I would love it. I would love it a lot. So I'm going to head down to that bot lane. Try to help the boys out over there. We have Pyro Ball Plus ready to rock. And we're going to get after these guys right here. But I want the levels before I actually hop into the, the team battle. I get rid of these guys. Slide over here. Just teen off. We're just teen off on these poor wild enemies. I'm coming over now. Alright, I'm coming over now. We just take take this thing out. There we go. And now Gene's on his way. Here's the Snorlax. If I can just do this, power ball into that, and dip back here. Oh my lord, these things are so fast. So fast, I have to dip back. Gengar Sayer. Gengar Sayer. Gengar right there. There you go, buddy. Let's do that. Potion up, and keep getting off after these guys. 
There we go. Now we're talking. I'm going to dip up here. And can I get the Apsil? I almost had the Apsil. I almost had the Apsil. But let's just keep pushing up under his tower. We have a bunch of people. So if he wants to fight on our tower, we should be chilling. Oh, my God. We are actually not chilling. We actually just send this. Uh, that one's Alton. Jeez, that hit me? Get out of my face. That did not hit me. Ugly Goss, can you like do like a heal for the squad? Let's see if we can get rid of you. And then try to get onto this Apsil. I'm going to actually score my points here while they pick up the KO there. And, of course, I'm dead. None of you guys can protect me as I'm under tower. Try and score some points, but we'll take the three KOs. I probably shouldn't have uh, went for the score. I should have saw that Zoror was coming in hot. I should have probably taken him out and helped the team out with that. But it's all good. Now we're just struggling to keep up. We weren't getting uh, dominated, so I'll take that all day. I'm going to go uh, get some extra Pokeballs here. Get some of my levels up. Get some XP. And we're going to roll off from there. We're going to roll off from there because we're making a comeback here. Gengar is farming levels into that uh, jungle. And we're doing pretty strong now. We're doing pretty strong. Pikachu did pick up the KO there, and I do have my Unite moves ready to rock. But for now, let's just dip back, get some levels. Try to hit level 13 for anything. And, oh, what are you doing here, buddy? What are you doing here? Yo, jeez, why does this thing do so much damage? Got to get a KO there. Go here, and now I'm going to just Pyro Ball and drop it on you guys. And that should be perfect for us. Now we are thriving with a double KO. Let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll, peeps. I'm actually split. I'm, let's get Dreadnought first. First of all, let's get Dreadnought. Why do they want to vote surrender? I'm not surrendering. I'm not surrendering. That's the last thing I'm doing. We are on a heater now. We're tearing up. And if we can get rid of this Dreadnought here, that could be big for us. That could be big for us. Get this Dreadnought, Eldegoss. Bro, Eldegoss. We could have had Dreadnought all day. We could have had Dreadnought all day, but it's coming down to this. It's coming down right here. Let's see if we can fight these guys right here. Get rid of the Snorax, maybe. Yes, sir. Get him out of there. All right, so now Snorax is dead. Let's try to dip up here. Yeah, now we have a little bit of advantage. We see Absol right here. We do see all these guys. And I might be dead. Nope, I'm not dead. I'm chilling here. Let me throw this Pyro Ball in there. And oh, yes, sir. Yo, we teed off. And we should have Zapdos easily here. Which we do. We get a nice little Zapdos in here. And we should be able to finish up this game and grab ourselves a win in battle number one. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. See, so we played this one super slow in the beginning. And then we ended up coming back. And dominating the, the second half, which was awesome. Because they had a strong start. They really did. And then we ended up get, picking up some KOs. And uh, rocking out from there. Let's see if I can pick up another one here. See if I can flame charge up on you. Get a KO there. And keep teeing off on all you guys. Send my Pyro Ball right through everybody. Get back here and keep going. Just keep teeing off on these Pokemon. I might just want to stay behind wall here because I'm in a low flux zone. Because we ended up not destroying that, uh, that, uh, that, what is it called? The base. But it's all good. Usually, once you get Zapdos, you go for points, and then you just try to go for KOs. Because we pretty much have the win in the bag. We just scored how many points? Close to 500. Maybe like 400. But that is going to seal the win for us. And awesome set of battle there. It was tough. Because you guys saw in the beginning, the slow bro put us in a little bit of trouble. The one with Ninetales picked up a triple KO. And then we ended up playing back, gaining some levels as they pushed up. I ended up picking up a double or triple kill. Gengar ended up doing it as well. Same thing with Machamp. And that really turned the tides for us. We ended up getting some more levels, becoming stronger than them, and then waiting out till Zapdos camp came. And then once Zapdos came, we all ganged up on the uh, the one Pokemon, which was the Snorlax. Made it into like a 5v4, took down Zapdos, and won us the game, which is awesome. Any more Pokemon over here? Nope. GG, yo. Let's get it. That's how you get that top lane rolling. That is how you get it rolling. Look at that, 682 to 233. So yeah, pretty much we won. Actually, we would have won before the, uh, the Zapdos, I think. Because I think we scored 400 points with that. But there it is, winning battle number, number one. Let's check out our stats. Six kills, 11 assists, 126 points. I feel like this was an all-around great team effort. It really was. I feel like the slow bro might have did the worst, but he didn't do bad at all. He was just off to a slow start. He was really just off to a slow start. But slow bro is actually like an end-game character. He's not too good in the beginning, but if you play him slow and level him up then he will be pretty strong in the late game but let's hop into our second battle rank up here and try to get some gameplay with some grand ninja because i really want to use him let's get after it ladies and gentlemen hopping into our second battle here i'm gonna lock in grand ninja and see if i can get central area to rock out for us if i can go central area i would love to do it with the uh with the grand ninja he's just awesome all around let me make sure i have my battle item set yeah i have everything that i want i am going to be rocking the potion with him because I just like having it on him as a squishy person. If this Gengar wants to go jungle, he can have it. But preferably, I want him to go top lane with that Pikachu. Because I want that jungle. I love playing jungle with Grand Ninja. I'd rather do that than top lane. But let's see what he does. He's going to go... He keeps, like, picking through. And I don't want him to go Gengar. Gengar's, like, the only one I don't want him to go. Considering he's a jungler. 
But yes, he's going to go Snorlax. Snorlax, he should go top lane with that Pikachu. That would be wonderful. A Snorlax and a Pikachu should be able to rock out. Same thing with an Elder Gloss and Lucario. That should be perfect. That should be perfect. But my main focus here with Grand Ninja in the jungle is to just level up as much as I can and help out the top and bottom lanes. Because eventually I just want to be overpowering everybody and just coming into battles and just dominating people. I'm just going to go into the jungle, try to get as many levels as I can and walk out of there and just be able to walk in there into battles and just sweep people. But the only problem with Grand Ninja is he's super squishy. So if I can learn to play back with him, we should be fine. Because the only two Pokemon I'm really worried about going up against is going to be that uh, Lucario and the Zorora. Because they can jump on me or if I'm up closer, they're just going to pounce on me and bring me down easily. So if I can keep my distance, I should be fine. I should be able to carry this team to victory. But let's get it. But I'm really liking the team comp here. With the Elder Gloss and Lucario in that bot lane. I'm really digging that. And then we got the Snorlax and the Pikachu in that top. I like it a lot. I got my boy Froakie. And of course I start in the back. That's so whack. That's so whack. What? Let's unlock Bubble and get after it that way. Let's get after it that way. There we go. And roll out from here. Alright, let's go. To the jungle. To the jungle, baby. I do not have my bubble yet. Oh my bubble. There we go. Bubble up. And take you out. And Ludicolo should spawn right here. Yep, there's Ludicolo. Let's get after it this way. And dip here and keep taking out these guys. Come here. Come here, Ludicolo. You don't want it. You don't want it. There you go. Take you out, and Buffalo should spawn, and we get the buffs from him as well. Let's rock it. And I actually missed out on an Apom, which I might go do. Actually, Lucario has it in the bag. He's going to go back, dip back, and grab that. And I'm going to go and start getting this core fish and stuff and things. Because once I get these core fishes, uh, we'll be able to get a levels and get Frogadier. That's what I love about coming out the jungle. I'm really leveled up, and I already have Frogadier early on, like less than a minute into the game, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Bubble up, and give me my Frogadier. There's Frogadier. Let's get smoke screen, and I'm going to head over to this top lane real quick. See how they're doing. See if I can sneak KO up in here. Get an early KO and uh, help out the team. Let's see. If I can dip in here and get after it. Yep, here we come. Here comes Jeans. Perfect timing there. Perfect timing, and we get a KO there. And we have this reboot right here. And we should be able to KO him as well. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yes, sir, yo. Double KO for the reboot. We're going to be able to get level 6 here. And we're going to be able to rock out, yo. Beautiful. Coming in at that right time. And getting some points as well. Let's see if I can dip back. Put everybody in the smoke screen. And just get levels. He's going to go down, but I'm going to end up taking out these core fishes and stuff and things. And just playing jungle again. They can die. I don't care. Because <laughs> we were kind of just up there uh, looking for points. And I'm already level 7, yo. Not even 2 minutes into the game. Gotta love it. Gotta love coming in at the perfect time there. Gotta love it. Let's just keep farming levels. And I'm going to sneak into that other lane in a second. Once I get Water Shrek in again, I'm just going to come down here. See if I can sneak KO. Let's see what I can do here. Hey, yo, where's my team at? Where's my team at? I thought my team would be here. I'm going to just keep poking on these guys. Thanks for the heal. Thanks for the heals. If I can smoke him with these. Oh, I missed him, of course. If I can get back. Get under tower. Yes, sir. Was able to get under tower. Snag two of these, and I'm going to see if I can push up on this guy. If I can get rid of this guy. Nope, almost. Almost getting rid of this hit. Okay, we got rid of Venusaur, which is awesome. Give me my levels. Let's see where the reward is at. There's Reboot. Reboot, get out of here. Dip back, put him in a smoke screen. Should be fine here. Oh, he put me in a burn. That kind of did me dirty. And I am going to dip back to the jungle area and just farm up some levels. That's my plan. Lucario did snag KO there, so I'm, I'm good with that. There we go. There's some points. And I'm going to eventually sneak back up into that top lane. Just want to get these uh, Pokemon out the way and uh, get my levels up. And get some HP back. That's what I like about farming with uh, Grand Ninja as well. Is I can get um, a lot of HP back just by farming with Water Shrekin. It's just good all around. Get him. Get this thing out of here. A Water Shrekin again. And should be able to take you out. No problem. Dreadnought appears. We're going to get that. And then I'm going to roll out and go towards Dreadnought. That is the play. Yo, double kill by him. He can actually get Dreadnought on his own. He's going to be stacked up. He's going to be stacked up. But I would still like to help him out with Dreadnought. And get rid of all these enemies right here. Uh, of course, I missed the, my water striking. Right, I'm going to go down here and get Dreadnought out the way. And try to piece up on him. Beautiful. Help out this Elder Gloss. Because once we get rid of this, our whole team gets XP. We get shield. And we're just rocking out from there. It's just awesome all around. Here comes the Aurora. See if I can just throw this at that thing. I get that Dreadnought. I want the Dreadnought more than anything. Give me the Dreadnought. Get back here. We got some shield. And we are living large now. I almost have him, uh, what's called, dead. So Roar dead. I could just Unite move on him, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And pick up a big KO. So, yo, gotta love it. We chilling strong. We chilling strong. A great little way of using my Unite move. I can take out these enemies. Get some points here. And just keep leveling up. 
But yeah, we got Drenol too, which was huge. And I should go help out that top lane. Even though Pikachu just stole KO. I think I should still roll out there and get after that. I'm coming. I'm coming, boys. I'm coming for a sneak attack. I'm coming for a sneak attack. Oh, yo. Snorlax getting a KO. Let's say we just roll up and score some points here. After I take out these combis and stuff. Because, again, I just want to be boosted. I really do just want to be boosted. Be high level. Just be able to rock out from there. Keep teeing off on these fools. And we should be fine. Throw a little smoke screen action. Oh, yo. What you want, fool? What you want, yo? You want to come after me? I got Water Shrek and Plus. I don't think you want a Water Shrek and Plus to your face. Oh, jeez, man. Jeez, man. Dude, that Lucario. What did I say in the beginning? I said I got to watch out and keep my distance for Lucario. I said that. I said I got to watch my distance for Lucario. Because he's going to come in here and he's going to come in hot. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Rough rough part on Gene's end. The jump pad is not out yet. I wonder what time it comes out at. But we should be fine. We should be thriving. Like I said, just keep boosting myself. We're struggling to keep up right now, but I feel like we're playing a solid game. I feel like we're playing a solid game. Again, it's going to come down to, uh, what's it called? All day. It's going to come down to, uh, Zapdos. Every game comes down to Zapdos. You guys already know that. We're just going to keep taking out you guys and see if I can get Ludicolo over here. Is he over here? He is indeed. You get mad XP from these Ludicolos and the Boofland, so they're always a great, uh, great KO for junglers. So I'm going to roll up here and see if I can, uh, Get a little flank action going. Oh my lord. What is going on here? Get back a little bit. I did not know there was three there. I thought there was maybe two. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Genal is here. He appeared again. So maybe we can get our team up here and try to steal him. Because that could be big for us. I do have my Unite move ready to rock. So that could be big for us. I might just Unite move on to him. Yep, let's try to get rid of this Aurora. Yep, there's KO on Aurora. And let's get rid of Genal now. This Genal would be huge for the boys. Get your red null. Let's get your red null. Get him out of here. There's shield for us. Everybody gets XP. We have plus going on here. There's Aurora up there, so we gotta watch out for Aurora. Oh, no, that's Pikachu. I thought it was Aurora. Let's see if I can dip up here. Get him out of here. See if I can send my potion. And just keep teeing off on the Aurora. Can we get rid of him? I almost had him. I almost had him. I'll defend. You guys rock out. Let's keep hitting him. Try to get rid of this Lucario. There's, oh, we should be able to get a KO here. Let's see if I can dip up. Oh, dude, I hit him so hard. I hit him so hard. Dealing some big damage. Oh, I'm ripping on the damage board. I'm going to push up on these fools. Got to get rid of them. But nice little push up for us. They're going to get some HP back. I think we should be fine here. Get rid of this uh, Cinderace. Cinderace is gone now. I should just be able to keep Teen off here. Maybe throw him in a smoke screen. I might throw him all in a smoke screen. Here comes you. Let's throw you in a smoke screen. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> yo, I saw him coming from a mile away. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm just going to throw this at him. And we're struggling to keep up, really? I thought we were doing better than that. I thought we were doing a lot better than that. It's all good. We're playing a solid battle here, I think, all around. I'm doing, like, one of the best on my team. And our level is the highest in the lobby, maybe? But let's go right to the mid. I'm going to go right to the mid lane and farm up again. Up until, uh, what's it called, comes. Up until Zapdos comes. Because I want to be level 14 when Zapdos comes out. And maybe have my Unite move ready to rock, which could be big for us. Which could be very big for us. So let's just keep getting levels. Because, again, it always comes down to Zapdos. It always comes down to Zapdos every single time. So let's keep farming these levels and rocking out from there. Come here, Corefish. Need you here, buddy. Need your levels. Need your levels, Corefish. Here goes Venusaur. Down into our lane, yo. What are you doing? What are you doing, dog? What are you doing? Coming into our lane like that. Where'd that Lucario go? I know there's a Lucario near me. Let's take out this thing and get some levels from there. But yeah, it's it, we're going to save our Unite move. We're going to try to rock out. I see Zorora in here, and here we go. And here it comes. The last little part of this game. I'm going down to Zapdos right here. So I can take you out, and I'm going to go right into the battle here. Oh, watch out, boys. I don't think I can help you out here. I'm going to have to Unite move. Did I get him? Okay, cool. We ended up getting him with the Pikachu, and we're going to rip up here. And just try to take out you and get rid of the Zapdos. Because once we get rid of the Zapdos, it's GG's. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Unless this Lucario steals it, which I'm going to be real upset at. And of course he steals it. He steals it somehow. He steals it. Of course he steals it, right? Right? He stole it. Somehow this Lucario stole it. And I think we should still be fine here. We can push up and get some points. This is a nice little possibility that we win this game. So let's see. We have Snorlax, of course, protecting tower. Put him in the smoke screen. I'm going to dip around here. And he's probably wondering where I went. I 
cannot do anything. I can't do anything. Like, I, this game is ridiculous. <laughs> Can I dip, bro? Can I dip? Smoke screen. <laughs> Looks like I gotta go to this lane now. We're dipping. Because we're looking for points here. If I score, it's 100 points. And I get it. Can I get in here? We need these points. Come on, come on, come on. Go. No! <laughs> this game is ridiculous, bro. This game is ridiculous. I'm dead. I'm dead. Are you kidding me? Yo, this is why this game is so unbalanced right now. We are dominating this Zapdos fight right there. Have everyone dead, and Lucario hops in and hits the Zapdos once. And wins them the game. They legit won the game off that. Because if we had defenseless zones, we were rolling up there and winning this battle. Oh my god, they gotta fix that so bad. That's why I feel like this game is so unbalanced. There's some Pokemon that are OP right now. The Zapdos is so broken because you could be losing the whole battle and just win Zapdos and win the game. And like stuff like that. Like we, we did all the HP down on Zapdos. And they legit hop up on Zapdos and win the game in one shot. It's just crazy to me. It is crazy to me. But, yo, this game is so fun. I'm glad you guys got to uh, enjoy this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. We didn't play too bad. We went 6-8 and eight with Grand Ninja. Should have had the Zathos. Should have had the win. And we went 1-1 one and one for today's video. That is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in our next Pokemon Unite video, I'm going to have enough coins to buy a brand new character. So we're either going to be doing a showcase or just showing off a new character on the rank ladder. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.